again, Dave here in the New To You Fishing uh, Kitchen. Today we're going to take you through probably my favorite uh, recipe for fish. It has a little bit of an Italian flavor. Uh, we're going to do it today in fry pan on stove top and then finish it in the broiler. Uh, actually my favorite way to do this recipe is in a cast iron pan on the grill. You can do it either way and maybe in the future we'll show uh, the alternate uh, approach of doing it in the cast iron pan. If you go to my Instagram, uh, the recipe for doing it in cast iron is there. It's raining tonight, so we're going to resort to the stove top and finish on the broiler. But we'll take you through all the ingredients. Um, we'll take you through the prep. We'll take you through the cooking and then the finished product. Uh, you can do this recipe with any white flesh fish. Uh, we've got uh, mackerel today, but you could use pompano or whiting, croaker, um, any, any of those uh, white fleshed fish. So let's take first a uh, quick look at the ingredients and then we'll uh, take you through the whole process. Have a look. Okay, uh, in this case we've got a 12 inch skillet with a lid. That, the lid is important. We've got our fillets uh, and they are skinned. Salt, pepper, we've got some white wine, some olive oil, some chopped tomato. Uh, we've got garlic, we've got breadcrumbs in this case Two types of breadcrumbs. We've got the Italian seasoned and then I like a little extra crunch so we'll throw some panko in there with it. We've got uh, Parmesan cheese which we're going to grate, uh, some butter pats, and some parsley. Uh, you don't have to have fresh uh, and the parsley is kind of optional but everything else here you're going to need to make this uh, make this come out. All right so this is one pan cooking and there's a lot to be said for that. So uh, we're going to go through the entire assembly process so you get an idea of, of what's involved. All right. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and we do have to mince that garlic before we uh, get started here. All right, let's start simple. Uh, we're going to start with some olive oil. I'm going to say a quarter of a cup. Um, now we do have a fairly significant amount of butter in this so that's why you really don't need to add a lot. Um, if you are doing the cast iron you do need a little bit more and an equal amount of wine. So equal parts uh, olive oil and white wine. Uh, next step we're going to lay those fillets in that pan with the olive oil and white wine. Let's make sure we can fit them all tonight. And no heat. So you'll notice, uh, I should have mentioned that, there is no heat on the on the pan yet. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, so need a little room between each one of the uh, fillets. That's where the tomatoes are going to go. So we've now got to work on some seasoning. So we're going to go with some salt. Now you notice the liquid is not covering the fillets. The fillets are in the liquid but they're not covered so the top of each fillet is exposed. Salt, pepper, garlic is my main um, ingredients. You could use Italian seasonings. Uh, that would be would be perfectly fine. You know what? We're gonna put more pepper on those. And we're gonna mince up the garlic.
Alright. Okay, salt, pepper, garlic is done. Uh, next up, we're going to go with uh, the breadcrumbs. We're going to start with the Italian style. And we want a fairly generous covering. We want to make sure all the fish is covered with breadcrumb. Then we'll top with a little panko for that extra little bit of crunch. All right. That's done. The tomatoes, we're going to keep those on the side, not on top of the fillet. So, any of the gaps, and little nooks and crannies, we'll drop a couple tomatoes in there. And these really, when the broiling happens, that's when uh, those turn real nice. Okay, we're down to three ingredients left. We're going to go grate the Parmesan. And we're going to top it with the pats of butter and the uh, parsley, and then we're ready to uh, get the heat stuff. Okay, so here's what it looks like before we start the cooking process. I know it looks like a lot of butter, and it is. So that's going to cook down. It's going to add a little uh, oil to the olive oil that we've put in there, and that's really going to help uh, uh, get a nice brown, actually it's going to get a little crust uh, on the top, especially when we broil that. So we're going to get this covered, we're going to start the heat, and then we'll show you the a couple of the interim phases as we uh, get this going before it goes into the broiler. Alright, so on high, and we'll put the cover on. We are going to have to check this to make sure that it doesn't stick. So. That's something we'll do with a spatula as we uh, are partially cooking it. All right, our cooking is well underway now. Pull the lid so you can get an idea of what's happening in here. Uh, oil and wine are sauteing, essentially. Fish is uh, starting to get cooked. We're, remember, there's no flipping here, so the lid is helping hold the heat in to cook the fish more thoroughly. Um, and butter is barely starting to melt on top and that, again as you can imagine as that melts it's going to melt right into the fish give it a nice flavor so we'll cover that up keep the process going and uh, and we'll show you the broiling step all right so now you can see the butter is totally melted um, and that means it's just about time to hit the broiler. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this pan. Make sure you have an oven safe skillet, right? You want to be able to put the whole thing in. If you got a plastic handle, that's a no-no. So we're going to put this on low broil and keep an eye on it. And when we see that cheese butter mixture on the top start to get a little brown to it, that's the signal to uh, stop it. All right, uh, there's essentially the finished product. Tomatoes are blistering on that top from the broil. Uh, we're just getting a light browning now on that cheese butter topping, and that needs us done. So uh, next up is uh, for the plates. All right, here's the final product. Yes, we've got our veggies on there, and a little uh, shrimp fettuccine left over. Lemon. Uh, actually, lemon shrimp fettuccine, one of Jada's recipes. And then um, we've got the, uh, the fish, our side of uh, little tomatoes, and you can see the, the brown crustiness there uh, on that Parmesan, when that crisps up, that's real nice. So 
give it a try. I think you'll like it. It's our uh, family favorite. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.